So right now, really quick, some people have been asking me what's going on. And, um, I had some time off. I had to handle some personal stuff, but I'm back. Um, in the acting world, again. Which is nice. Um, so right now, I'm on my way. I'm going to Rhode Island to film short film project cast it as a corrupt MMA fight promoter which should be really good uh, it was a busy week this week I was in New York on Thursday it was the worldwide premiere of the film by one of the best directors and producers in the world Jillian Bullock cast me as Captain Jake Nixon who was the lead male actor role this film took what seemed like a million years to finally come out, and it's out now. And the premiere was great, a lot of amazing people. And I was actually presented during the event with what they call a challenge coin. Um, challenge coin is presented by a commander in the military to a veteran, or it could be a non-civilian, um, non-veteran civilian who's made a positive impact in society for veterans. So I got it. It was awarded the challenge coin um, by Annette Tucker Osborne of the National Association of Black Women in the Military, the Brooklyn chapter. I was totally humble. I didn't think I would get an award. I was truly, truly humble to, to receive that. But very quiet on the road right now. Not a lot of cars, but it's good to be filming again. I've been going to New York. Bunch of auditions. It's going okay. Keeping in touch with John Shea, Frontier Booking in New York. You know, a lot of positive words from John about the future. Go ahead with this. So, we'll see how it goes. Definitely not an easy thing. A lot of people think it just happens overnight. It takes a lot of perseverance, a lot of sacrifice and dedication. But, you know, we do what we do. So, next next month in May, <clears throat> so far I'll be in Philly. May 19th is the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. Big, big, big event. Uh, the music video, I was cast in for the film, A Sense of Purpose, Fighting for Our Lives. I was nominated for an award. I hope we win. I want to give a shout out to Chris Mann. Christopher Mann from Philadelphia, one of the greatest actors in the world today. The man is on a path to greatness. Chris is nominated. Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate that. Chris is nominated for Best Supporting Actor. I was lucky enough when I was in Philly to be mentored by Chris one-on-one uh, -on -one for a while. I was, not only is he a great actor, he's a true gentleman, a very humble guy, very great disposition, really love work. I learned so much from Chris, you know, how to be a better actor, how to carry myself, handle myself on a film. Yeah, I know, Julian, I hope so. We have, a, we have a great cast and crew, and Jillian Bullock, the director, is one of the greatest directors and producers in the world. Amazing talent, uh, amazing human being, very, 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 very smart, very intelligent. And when she cast me for the movie, um, she believed in me, probably when I didn't believe in myself, 
back then, you know, so she saw something good in me, I didn't see it, but I won an award for the role for the short version of A Sense of Purpose back in October of 18 at the Validate Yourself Film Festival run by Antoine Allen, another amazing director producer I respect very much, and I won Best Actor Award at that, that festival, which is pretty good, so I was very happy. So we just do our best, and um, I appreciate that, Big Mike. We'll just keep pushing, man. Keep plugging away. See what happens. You know, the man upstairs is watching all my efforts. Hopefully, he'll throw me a bone. You know. But um, yeah. So yeah, I, I see you watching. I see that. I see that, Gina. Thank you for all your support. I love you. I got this suit on, and it's pretty tight around my neck. That's what we do in this business. That's it, these, these tight clothes, man, strangling me, can't breathe. Man. Um, thank you, Gina, I appreciate that. You guys are awesome, all the people chiming in right now, I really appreciate it. Someone said to me the other day, <coughs> what I admire about you the most is you never quit and give up, keep keep pushing ahead, but you're also humble in the process. It's a tough, tough society we live in because a lot of people will spread rumors and say things about people that aren't true. You know, I've heard a million rumors about me. I, just, I don't know where they come from, I really don't, but I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy, humble guy. I got three beautiful children, I do my thing. I'm very easy to get along with. I work hard. Well, they always say good things happen to good people. I think I work hard, so we'll see. You know, my next project that I'm in, um, a cup full of crazy. It's another Jillian Bullock production. We start filming in August. Yeah, that should be great. I met Johnny and Torino, another amazing actor, a great talent. John actually did some some work with Robert De Niro. It's amazing, great guy, awesome guy. I can't wait to work with John in the film when we start shooting in the late summer. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I went over. I studied some of my lines this morning for this this filming. Which is good. You know, it feels we're really gonna be back on on screen in front of the camera again. Uh, I think in this business you can never learn enough. You can never learn enough in this business. You can always improve. Uh, but you know, the past few things I've done, I feel really comfortable in front of the camera. This is a good thing. So, at the premiere in New York on Thursday, I was interviewed by Cyrus Webb. Cyrus Webb's an amazing personality, TV radio journalist, writer, everything. I uh, did numerous interviews with, with uh, Cyrus. This was the first interview I did with Cyrus that was in person for TV. Um, great guy. Great guy. I can't say enough good things about Cyrus Webb. Uh, thank you, Cyrus, for giving me so many positive words. It means a lot. And I, it's mutual. I feel the same way about you. You're a very accomplished human being. And um, I love meeting good people like that because I keep friends with them for, for the rest of my entire life. It's a connection, not just a business connection, but a personal connection. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Yeah. Well. So 
should be good. Um, what else? I don't want to ramble too long. I'm on this highway. There's a long stretch of road here. Uh, I don't know. That's probably about it. Um, during the interview, <coughs> I had with Cyrus Webb. On camera, you know, they always say that the process takes time. You know, it's a process to keep building and keep working at it. You know, and I said, you know, when they talk about inspirations, absolutely. As an actor, I think someone in the business is always, you know, Sylvester Stallone was probably the most influential person on me. I've heard his story many, many times. Um, people have told me your story is very similar. You know, you struggle, people struggle, and they through hard times to keep pushing, you know, so I did thank Mr. Stallone on camera for his inspiration and his story, because if it wasn't for him, I probably would have quit a million years ago. Yeah. Watch out, pothole on road ahead. So I set my ways, this ways, GPS, it set the voices, so it set the <clears throat> I think it's Tommy. Tommy UK. Sounds like Michael Caine. Actor Michael Caine. So Michael Caine is telling me how to go to this film shoot right now. I can't go wrong with that. You know. but, um, yeah, thank you. Miss Dupree. I appreciate you saying that about me. It was an honor to be on your book cover. I remember that book cover. Jessica's Obsession was the book cover. That did really well. That was a cover I was on by Tabby Dupree. Was that 2013? I think it was 2013, I can't remember. That thing, that rocked Amazon. I don't know, I, don't, I think we took over. We, did, we beat Kat Von D. Did we beat Kat Von D? I think we beat Kat Von D in the ratings for a little while, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And I think we were second place to Cat Von D for a number of weeks on the sell list. <coughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I did. So I was right about that. My memory. My memory's not what it used to be, but I, I can still remember that. That was a solid, solid book. I never read it. But it was, a, it was a good book. I know it was solid, got good reviews. And um, <coughs> it goes to the same thing. Anytime you guys use me in your projects, I know you guys use me for book covers and projects and ads and advertisements and film, I'm always humble when someone requests to use me. There's so many other great personalities and actors out there, and they chose me. So it's. Regardless if it's a small production or a big, big, big production, it's always very humbling when you get selected and picked. So, um, shout out to my three beautiful children Troy, 12, Cole, 9, Mia, my queen, 7. Love you guys. Always stay true to family. Stay true to your kids. The best thing we have in life is our children. No doubt. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Priya. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. So I'll probably log off pretty soon. I'm gonna come up on this exit. Let's go on. Go film this short film project. So I'll keep you guys posted anything else that comes up. Um, I appreciate you guys the kind words chiming in right now and saying good things. You know, hey Caitlin, I'm good. I'm good. Same me, same same John. You know, hope all's good with you. God, this room is quiet. No one on this road right now besides me. Me and the birds. Yeah. So, uh, 
that's about it really so but a lot of good things coming a lot of good things coming up which I look forward to Have a great Sunday and have a good week. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. I'm gonna try to get in character for this. It's kind of a kind of a mean guy character. It seems like every time I'm cast, I've always a lot of times I've been cast as a villain, as a bad guy. For some reason I think I'm a bad guy. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Good guy, bad guy. It's a very, it's an honor to be selected for any role. So we take it. But <clears throat> I had one guy say, "You're gonna be the bad guy. You know, can you be the bad guy?" And I said, "Absolutely, I'll be the bad guy." Going to character, it's character, it's acting, it's character, it's not real, not the, not the real Johnny. I said this many times before the, the people. It's not real, you know, it's not really. You become, become the character. I'm a very, people who know me know I'm a very easy go and happy, a lucky type, chill dude, you know. But then when the director says action, it's game on. And when they say cut, it's, I'm drawn again. How it kind of goes, you know. <coughs> you turn it on and off like a switch, you know. So this role today, it's a, he's a little bit of a mean guy, bad guy. Um, and his sense of purpose, really good before I go. The character, he was a multi-dimensional character, you know, which was great. So director and producer Jillian Bullock wrote the role. Um, I couldn't be more happy with the role she wrote because. I was able to showcase uh, a bunch of different emotions. You know, I was able to be mad, sad, happy, angry, which I had to cry on camera twice, which any actor will know, crying on camera is a challenge. And um, I cried twice on camera, and we really rocked the scene, so it was, it was good. You know, I really, it was a real good, good character, but he wasn't a, you know, a decent, really decent guy either. So a lot of the roles I get, it's more of the, more of the, you know, mean guy, bad guy. But, this is what it is. Alright guys, you have an awesome weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. I'm gonna go, go on camera and become the, become this guy for a while. And then, shall I enjoy my Sunday. You guys, thanks for all the love and support. You guys, you guys are awesome.